Alrighty. Day 19, the old 1-9. Ugh, oh, Misery Mire 2. That was the one we started on. Getting a little tired here, to be honest. Oh, I didn't check our loadout either. Tempered Story, that's nice. And Bow and Arrow, so... With a full set of arrows, a tempered sword, uh, and potion. Well, geez, I didn't realize how few hearts we had. Uh, should hopefully be able to do uh, uh, this Myra hammer. Oh, that doesn't really help us any more than usual here. Feels like that should be something. got back on too. That's nice. Alright, I'm gonna take a snack here while we're waiting for the coffee break there. Here. 
guys. Take us finally to Vitreus. Too soon. All right, I guess we jump down first, and then we'll probably have to get a key and come back up there.
work. door must be controlled by the uh, torches too, which is why I was open there, so I didn't have to go all the way back around. At least I hope that's why. Oh, what am I doing? I should have checked, uh... Zelda cleared Medley's dishes and her own. On the way to the kitchen, she wondered if she really wasn't freezing. The thought struck her as lightning. Gonzo, Mako, Miko, Nudge, Senza, and Zuku. Zuko. They are the ones guaranteed to be cold. But as real pirates, they would not so willingly accept the help of the princess. She had to find a way to rephrase the crest to their liking. Brooding, she carried the dishes into the kitchen. The wafting aroma filled Zelda with nostalgia. It was their father's spicy meat and seafood fry. Without hesitation, she fisted herself a piece and ate it gleefully. Would you make me another large pan of that? After the huge food package was tied, Zelda added the card and sent the seagulls on their journey. The text of the card set read, Pirates, I require your help. No fathers of mine are able to consume this meat made of creatures most terrible. Alas, we cannot let it perish, lest we incur the goddess's wrath. So she's conning the pirates into eating meat. I guess it's uh, a holdover from when she was teacher or Tetra. Uh, the pirate uh, captain. Uh, you know, that was uh, cute, not uh, Tetra as her name. To the Triforce. <laughs> Gotta say, I really liked Wind Waker. It took me a little bit to warm to it. Like, I mean, it was fun bopping around on the boat and everything. 
but uh, in, until you uh, go to the Sumpton Castle there, uh, and like the story really kicks in, and you're just like, whoa, that's pretty cool. So that's probably uh, Vitreus right there. Well, I'd say probably is a good chance it is. So I'm just gonna check here real quick. Uh, so I don't have to oh, come back. This room again? Try, uh, there's a uh, strat pros do uh, where they just run at uh, Vitreus. Like, you can run through them uh, with the dash boots, and they'll take a bit of damage. Actually, I think you need the key for that. Uh, the pros would probably do spin strats where they sort of spin 
and move in a sort of a, I don't know what you call it, a sort of an arc. Let's see this guy, these fire snakes really like to hunt you down. I was 100% certain that this would be Viddy, but I guess not. Well, I guess we still got a few things to check here. <sighs> I'm getting tired of uh, this one, I gotta say. Might only be able to do this one. refill here. Yeah, I'm just gonna finish this day. I think that's it for me. Ooh. Oh, I get a little sleepy. I do always have enough for a blue potion. Hardest non game boss in the game, usually. So back this way, right? And up. And over. And around and around.
How am I supposed to survive this? <laughs> Vitreous and drop. Just to sort of stick it to you one last time. Can I? Right? Yeah. 
else we have? somewhere that uh, uh, they did studies and they say that music that most clo closely matches your heartbeat is what you find most soothing. So they've uh, actually made like music for cats that like the beat matches their heart rate. I'm not sure how much it works. do so much damage. And I just finally made it there too. Alright, at least we know where to go. 
Maybe... I'll just start off. It's... I like to save the, uh, the arrows for the eyeballs, but... go through all this one last time. Hopefully one last time. Can you at least give us a can of Samari or something, right? A can of Samari and Temper Sword? I could probably beat the crap out of uh, Vitreus pretty, pretty quick. Also has the added bonus that you know it revives you when you die. Oh, I don't know how I got turned around. Uh, so I mean, uh, I can use you know I can get down to one hit left and just take a little extra damage, right? Because it doesn't matter. You can't they can't overkill you, right? So if you're at you know one heart or three hearts, if you take three hits of damage, you're dead, right? Uh, so. Uh, I could just do that. Say we might get the hook shot from Vitreus. Ugh! Day 19 was a beast! Meow! Meow indeed. Alright. Yeah, it was like 
40 minutes for that one? Yikes. It's longer. I like I did three earlier in that same amount of time. Take that, Grinch. Looks like Link's hand in the back. Um, we can see, is it like a green bunny rabbit or something? Alright. It's day 19 done. Uh, do I have it in me to do one more day? One more day all right I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it yeah 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 just as soon as I'm done clicking through the scenes do 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 the whole world in me. I'm just going a little crazy because I'm tired. I played like eight hours of this, it feels like. Um, all right, where am I? Day 20. <clears throat> UYBE. UYBE. U. Y. B. Door 20. Skullwoods 2. Oh, maybe I should have shut it off. Skullwoods 2. <clears throat> the candy cane is Mario. I didn't check what our, uh, <coughs> excuse me, our loadout was either. Master Sword. Do we get, like, fewer hearts each day or something? Because it seems like we do. That's handy. That'll come in handy when we fight Manuel, I guess. Day 20. Link saw Pura and Robbie outside the stables. He immediately looked around for fire damage. Link, Pura greeted joyfully. As promised, here's the solution to your problem. We present the revised and improved SFHS2. Link looked at the vehicle with uncertainty. The handle read super fast horse sled. Puzzled, he looked at the two of them, both anxious to explain their invention. Fortunately, it was all too technical to be understood. Perfect. Now I join them clearly interested. It's exactly what I need to decorate the castle. Okay. Link regrets back into his thoughts. The vehicle looked resilient, but he didn't want to be stranded along in the wilderness. He quietly got the Pono ready and departed. Robbie and Pura weren't too concerned with who tested the equipment, and now it seemed to have a legitimate need. Link exhaled in relief. Of course, he enjoyed new things, but a long adventure awaited him today. Left. Don't want to get hit by these guys. 
Crypto, I'm gonna get hit by anything. Anything that'll kill us, I think. Gyptos do two damage. The spikes only do one. Did start with a red potion. And I was like, geez, did we not get a red potion to start? You're really going for toughness this time if they were. Really, a church or a cathedral, I would think, is the direct translation. But this, uh, you know, came at the time, you know, when Nintendo was, uh, or sorry, Nintendo of America was, you know, dead set on, uh, you know, removing anything adult or potentially offensive. We know where to go now. Maybe I'll kill Multhorn real quick here. <laughs> and I even start in this room. That's handy, I guess. Sort of. Uh, or, oh yeah, like in uh, all the Final Fantasy games, the pubs and bars are uh, like cafe or change to cafes, right? I mean, they're clearly still bars and pubs, right? And taverns. But they all say cafe on the sign. It's kind of funny. Uh, and the same thing, they, uh, you know, they remove uh, old crosses, even ones on, like, tombstones and stuff like that. Which is allowed in speed riding. They do it a lot to check the mushroom. Because to check the mushroom, you lose the mushroom, right? Uh, I didn't get, no, I did get the other cane accident. 
but uh, with the uh, uh, the reason why they like to uh, save scum, as it's called, by you know checking it and then going back, is because if it uh, isn't anything good, uh, then they can uh, just. Uh, So anyway, uh, you can save scum the mushroom so you can uh, use it later to fake powder potentially, right? If it's nothing good, or nothing you need, or nothing you need at the moment. Armos isn't this bad because you can just sort of stay in one place. But you've got a bow and arrow, I guess you might not necessarily have that in this randomizer. We're gonna be something good. Oh, you're... Oh, that's neat. I 
Vegas, you're already in a water walk state. We go back to the other section. As long as there's like one little pixel left of you on the screen. and I just misread it. Oh, I do have the big key. It must have been on the overworld when I checked. Not thinking. And sometimes you forget because it always seems like one dungeon, right? But the overworld's separate from the uh, rest of Skull Woods here, like the inside. So it took us two potions and watch this be uh, something like a blue male or a tempered sword or something else that would have made our, uh, our fight a lot easier. Yeah. 
I'm not good enough to beat him off with a hammer. Well, if I could hit him a, at least once or twice, it would have, yeah, it would have cut a couple of uh, sword strikes with him from. All right. Oh. Now, I wish I had checked that though beforehand, because then I could have just mirrored straight from where we come out of Skull Woods there. Excuse me. Oh well. Oh well. That's day 20 done for you, boys. So. Six hearts next time. Oh, that's Navi at the top there. And Link's got a box of toys. It's toys of all his friends, maybe? I don't know. Because Gan's not really a friend. And hey. <sighs> GBBT. see what that was. Uh, piece of the meat pals and darker thing. Start with the powder. We're still on red goo instead of blue goo. Yeah, pals of darkness. seeped into my brain. Ice Palace. We can't go anywhere because we don't have a key. Um, that's interesting. And then the... Uh, I'm sure it's near uh, that's a double key door to get up the metal. So I guess it, it's got to be bow lock side. kill that guy with, provided he doesn't hop right into your face. Oh, right. Maybe that's why they gave me the uh, powder, so I can powder some fairies along the way. Oh, nice full magic. Yeah, I think we figured out that fire rod does not do anything to Fairies. 
circles. Another key. Alright. Go straight through the middle part now. those giddos. Alright, let's go up the middle. I was gonna walk around and save a key, but I give you so many. Oh, there's just a shortcut back here. That's nice. Yeah, at this point, like, I really have no idea. Oh. I'm just back here. I was gonna say, I really have no idea where I'm going. But you just sort of keep going forward. And, yeah, either it'll force you to go back, or it'll, uh, let you go on. Um, so... Uh, which way to go first? everything. I 
go to Hammer yet. Yeah, they wouldn't be so mean as to make you a bomb. Helmosaur. easier coming down than going up. Next time I'm gonna just fire by that give down. It says be my friend more than bolt of fire to the face. Day 21, the engine of the SFHS, super fast horse sled, howled and the vehicle started its jerky movement. Malin walked along enthusiastically. In the hall, the waitresses swarmed around like bees. On the opposite side, four large fruit trees stood at the corners of the dance floor. Malin was heading straight for them. At each tree, she unloaded decorative tinsel and ornaments. Next, she kept she helped decorating the trees. Each tree was topped with a star, and each star was connected with fancy ribbons. Now it was time to hang crystal flakes on the ribbons that spanned the dance floor. As the work drew to a close, the decorators began gathering the large entrance door. Everyone was excited for the light test. At the flick of a finger, all the lights turned on simultaneously, illuminating the scene with the magic of a thousand stars. 
Now to see the other faces, the same satisfaction she felt herself. They truly performed a miracle. That's our first pendant, too. We know how to get there now, right? I don't exactly remember the full path we took, but at least we know. Alright, so first things first. I'm trying to, uh... could just leave, but uh, there actually is an item in tile room. You just rarely ever see it, because you have to wait till all the tiles go. And it's the hammer. And a feeling. Aha! See, I knew it would loop around eventually. So you want to try him again? Let's do it. At least we can hurt him this time. have a good chance of uh, dropping uh... Ugh. didn't mean to slide into those spikes. Just a chance of dropping hearts for some reason. one more path we can go, so there's probably some items we're missing. Well, I mean, obviously, there's something we haven't gotten, uh, but uh, whether or not it would be a use on the sword. I mean, the bow would help. Uh, the biggest help would be uh, blue mail. It'd be nice to uh, have something to cut the damage a bit. Because you're actually, yeah, you're in a regular game, you'd be pretty close to the same amount of hearts. Uh, if you had got any heart pieces.
Yeah, he didn't uh, shoot any balls that time either. Must be something with this holiday rando. Oh, and that is all the items. So I guess that extra route is just a dead end. that those, uh, I think they're usually gargoyles or something like that. No, well, they're statue men. Or snowman now. Oh, that's day 21. Oh, Christmas. Maybe one go, well, five. Because I guess there's a boxing day, sort of at one, maybe? If I couldn't slash it, I probably couldn't uh, dash through it. Thieves, thieves, thieves. Wrenches, I guess. Wrenches. Alrighty. Might be uh, one of those crickets in Thieves Town. Kind of looks like it has bunny ears, though. Unless that's part of the bow in the box. Alrighty, that's day 21. Day 21 is day 20 done. Do I want to try one more day? Um, I think I'm going to be up for a little longer. Might as well. One sec. Do 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 do. Buzz, buzz, little bee. Buzz, buzz. Sorry, I'm just checking some stuff. Checking my uploads, to be honest. I'm uh, uploading the first, uh, I guess, days uh, 7 till 12. And just checking my other stuff, too. Oh, forgot to switch over to Al at Calendor. So, day 22 is. D F Z X D F Z X D F Z X All right, Turtle Rock Two. Though. This one, yeah, this was probably a bad idea. Oh, of course, it would have to be the Candy Cane of Mario. Otherwise, you can't get through this first door. I might not finish this one, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! I am a golden guy. Huh. That's an interesting Hyrule Castle. Just gonna like these 
torches. All those rats. This Christmas rats just waiting. Waiting to strike. Yeah, they're changing the levels a bit, so now I want to make sure I know where to go here. through. Uh, I forget, last time I think uh, Memory Key was, uh, uh, had an item. <coughs> this time, I guess it doesn't matter because I don't have a hammer. Yet. Potentially at all. I don't have to go all the way back, thanks to being, you know, here. So there's something to be said. It's nice that they gave me a fire rod. Right now, though. Ugh. If you can time it right, you can get, like, multiple hits, like, three or four. With the spins on these guys. Alright, it's not worth playing around with them. I'll just go up. I just thought that the route down would be a shorter check. Um, I'll save them on a hard setting as well. Castle lay quiet before him. What else to expect at night? He crept towards the ballroom. As quietly as possible, he opened the door to the ballroom. Inside, the large windows let in enough moonlight for Link to orientate himself. Then carefully opened his pack and removed a small vase. In it, he put some nuts, a crumbled candy cane, and small chocolate flakes. Link headed to one of the bar tables spread around the dance floor. On it, he draped nutshells to act as seats. Setting the vase to one side, he took three wooden cups of different height out of his backpack and arranged them between the candle on the table and the wall behind a form of staircase. The highest cup would be the dance floor from which the, the shadows would be cast on the wall. If you remembered it, some good dancers were among the minish. Link left the hall feeling joy. All good for Link. It's all never master. This room from backwards. Yeah, but it really won't matter after I finish these last few days. trying to get into that other thing at all. Chest. I think it's a switch. 
Alright, so... Thing I kind of don't want to uh, open the laser bridge door and go out because then I can't uh, go back to that uh, big key chest from here. But uh, it's not too far away from the entrance that I can't just save and quit there. And it'll probably, even with the uh, blue mail, take me. More than one attempt to uh, get the laser bridge items, but I don't have a uh, invincibility thing. <laughs> yeah, you can sort of sneak along, but then that kind of lose out in that last thing where you have to turn the corner. So it's probably a good thing that we did that door. So we've got the hammer, which will get us an item. We still need the uh, fire rod, though. It's like Trinex is going to be. chances of a nice rod and another key or potentially thunk. It's a lot of deaths this time. Yeah, it could be also be a compass in here. I like the compass just so we know how much more yeah. So that last one on Laser Bridge, uh, the one on Trinex, and the one in the Big Key Chest. So if this is not the Ice Rod here, then... Yeah. Uh, so the Big Key Chest has to be... Um, grab it. I was, just, I was just thinking that Trinex might be on the path we're already on, like if we went up after uh, getting out of the laser bridge area. Uh, and there's still, you know, the big key chest, and there might be something uh, extra for us in uh, Mimic Cave 2, right? Uh, and given, remember, how many tries it took us to do Trinex last time? There's actually an item in here or not. Okay. 
I mean, there has to be one on the boss, right? So this uh, won't count for our counter, but it never really does either. time it was, uh, now that I saw that, it was a, uh, single arrow, so this time it's a single bomb. So it wasn't anything good last time. I just remember there was something there. That's, it's a fine how do you do. You know, maybe Trinax is just through the big keyboard here. Or through the harmless hellway here. Or is this just the hell way? Yep, here he is. going to be a fun fight. Not at all. Is there a magic reveal somewhere? Ugh. the only way to get a quick full magic refill. Is this one up here? fight. Um, I might have to uh, nope out. Oh. And uh, get a blue potion as opposed to a red. I think you've got just enough magic to do this. get all your hammer hits in. Oh, hey, don't miss. Okay. 
Okay, here's the new plan. I'm going to... Frozen. Uh, all right. Uh, so we can't pull a hand that way. Uh, normally, you uh, if you can drop in the water, you can pull a hand by. Uh, Basically what you try and do. Oh, I did set it up somehow. Maybe? Or maybe it just automatically happens. Uh but yeah, yeah with the bombs you're trying to get it so the game doesn't know where to send you. Nice try, but let me show you the way. Or maybe. But yeah, the, the Houlihan room, it's called that because of some guy named Houlihan who won a Nintendo Power Contest. And his name is in that room. And the only way to get to it is by tricking the game so it doesn't really know where to put you. And uh, what happens then is if it doesn't know where you're supposed to go, then it just uh, makes you go and appear in the uh, Houlihan room. You can only hula hand once, because those rupees do not come back. So we've got a blue goo now. This one's for all the marbles. tries and I'm gonna fall asleep. Yeah, I'm So we saved and quit after we got the potion, that's good. We just gotta remember not to uh, save after we die. If, when we die, I try next again. Hopefully we won't die to try next again, but, you know, we're probably dying to try next again, 
so. does that start spazzing out like a jerk hold still bastard oh, I could have sworn that'd be enough to kill him like five hammer hits you need or like ten uh, master sword hits them just fire rod the ice head down uh, after they've hit it a few times. Because I think if you're perfect, you can do it with just one thing of magic. I've never done it. Probably never will, but... Try and we're gonna go to bed. Need to not fire hits. Maybe if I try the uh, Helmosaur strat. The only problem is that works on Helmosaur because. Sword, you know, you can't hit him with a sword when he's got his mask on, right? So that's why you just pink off. This, you would just poke them, poke them in the face with that strap with the sword, so it wouldn't, uh, wouldn't work the same. You'd probably just waste time because a poke does less than even a sword swing does. I mean, a sword spin, I think, does as much. The temperate sword does. I don't know. I'm switching to the hammer right yet. We want this still.
Ugh. I hammered him in the face. Seems like his... His vulnerability time doesn't last very long. Alright, I'm taking a break. I'll see you guys later.